Hey guys, Jay the Fish Guy here. So today is going to be an update video on what's been going on in the fish room and all the tanks that I currently have. So stay tuned. So probably the biggest news that I have for this uh, update video is that I got a bunch of new tanks in. I ended up with 10 10 gallon tanks and two of the 20 highs. Uh, I plan on building a rack right in this section here um, and uh, hopefully get that all up and running within the next couple of weeks. Um, I got enough sponge filters to take care of everything. Obviously I got my big giant air pump for the whole entire fish room now. Um, I'm still waiting on a few bits and pieces uh, to do things like the electrical. Uh, still nailing down what I'm going to end up doing for lighting. So just little stuff I have to collect here and there and then to find the time to build it. So hopefully on the next update video I'll have something to show you guys with that. So other than that, let's uh, take a peek around at all the different tanks and uh, catch you guys up to speed with what's been going on. So this is my saltwater holding system. Nothing fancy, just a 37 gallon tank, some live rock, some substrate, a heater, and a hang on the back filter. You'll notice this is the tank that I put the Seachem Tidal HOB filter on, and uh, we'll see how it does. So again, this tank is just uh, after the fish go through Q QT and get treated for parasites and things like that when I first get them in. Uh, after they clear QT, they end up going into this holding system until they end up going to their new home. That way I can observe them, make sure they're eating, make sure everybody's healthy uh, before I go sending them out the door. So, did a lot of cleaning in the basement this past weekend, and I was able to find a new corner of the basement to put the live rock pond in. I don't really need to access it that much, but uh, it needs to have a light, which I was able to rig one up, and, uh, you know, I still got to be able to access it. And I, I am able to, but with it out of the way, now I have the room to, to build the new rack in the same space uh, where this used to live. So I don't know if you can see in the back right there, this would be the small Jack Dempsey uh, that I have in one of the 20 longs with all the crypts. Nothing too new and exciting here, he's still, still kind of holding steady and growing slowly. Next up we have the guppy tank. This is another 20 long. Uh, I got a whole bunch of assorted guppies, a few platies. Uh, yep, there's one there. Uh, and a couple of baby bushy nose plecos. This is also the tank that I have the uh, assassin snails in as well. I think I have somewhere around three or four different types of guppies. At least it seems that way from the females. Time will tell when the babies grow out to see what I ended up with. Once I get the new tanks up and running, I'm going to split up the different uh, batches because there's definitely a noticeably different uh, size between the bunches. And uh, we'll see what they end up growing up into and see if it's anything that's worthwhile to keep going. All right, so probably my favorite tank going right now is my tank of baby Bosmani rainbows. Uh, <laughs> still pretty excited about this. You know, it's been a couple of weeks now. The fryer doing well. I picked up some of the uh, golden pearls, uh, fry food. Stuff is basically powder, but they go nuts over it. Uh, I guess the particulates are small enough, but they're still chunks, so to speak, that they're going after and eating. They look like they're growing. Uh, they're still very small, and I guess growth is uh, supposed to be pretty slow on these guys. But I'm keeping up with my water changes and keeping up with the multiple times a day feeding, and uh, hopefully these guys turn into little rainbows someday. All right, so next up we have the 180 upstairs, uh, the so-called tree trunk tank, which I think I'll coin it. Uh, this is the tank that I have my paratilapia in. Uh, I tried doing just the male and the female, and he ended up beating the hell out of her, 
and no spawning action whatsoever. So I ended up putting the the odd man out back in. Uh, here you can see my uh, ornate Bashir. He's getting bigger and he's actually getting a little more outgoing. He tends to be out and about uh, more often than not now. Uh, yeah, so the Paratilapia, now I have the trio in there. And it, it, it helped. Uh, he's still, the big guy is still being kind of a dink. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting to see what they end up doing. I don't know if maybe, uh, you know, I've heard people with cichlids before, if you introduce a third party, sometimes it, it increases the bond between the male and the female. So we'll see if it happens. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. It, it kind of stinks to devote such a big tank to them. Um, but I'm hopeful. I mean, the end goal is to get them to breed. So I'm giving them the best possible conditions I can and uh, see what happens. And last but not least, we have the bank tank. Uh, this guy has been pretty much on autopilot. Uh, the last thing I did was add a couple of SPS frags and the Duncan frag. Um, but other than that, it's just been feed the fish and change out some water once a week and call it a day. Uh, in December, so December 1st, it's going to a different branch of the same bank, uh, doing another display for them, and uh, looking forward to that and getting more people to be able to see it, and it will continue to live up to its namesake of the bank tank. So it, it's a fun little tank. I, I love having it around the house, and uh, I look forward to, to getting it down at the bank again and seeing what people have to say. All right, well, that's going to about do it today for this fish room update. Uh, pretty excited that we're really progressing forward and turning it into an actual fish room. You know, got some new tanks in, and, uh, you know, the only thing holding me up now is finding the time to put it all together and get it wet. Uh, you know, let me know down in the comments section. What do you guys think I should do with some of these tanks? I have some ideas of my own. I got a few breeding projects that I'd like to start up. But I'd love to hear from you, and, uh, you know, what do you think I should, uh, should maybe lean towards for uh, a couple of projects here and there? Let me know, and uh, I'll definitely give it some consideration when I do my next order and looking to get some new fish. As always, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.